Hello everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechniques.com here and today we're looking at the latest addition to NVIDIA's lineup. So here you may be able to see um, on the box, it's really sort of subtle, but it does say GeForce GTX on here. Uh, the camera might be able to pick that up. And then we've got the NVIDIA logo. So you can't really see what this is from the outside, but it is the brand new Fandangle um, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780. Now, there's one thing that I do want to say about this before we start unboxing it and getting into it. This is a reference card. It's direct from NVIDIA. It's got no branding on it whatsoever from any partners such as Zeus, Gigabyte, Palette, Game Ward, EVGA, whoever. This is purely an NVIDIA reference card. Hence, the packaging is just black. That's it. That's how it comes uh, to reviewers. Now, generally, when it comes to a reference card, you may find that there's going to be a small amount of stock of reference cards within the retail channel, but generally it's left up to the AICs, which is the um, partners of NVIDIA, so the likes of EVGA, Game Ward, Zeus, Gigabyte, um, KFA2, and all the others. So, um, don't really want to ramble on too much, instead just want to sort of get straight into this, talk through the specs of it, and uh, give you a bit of an insight. So, like I say, with this being referenced, you're not going to, you're most likely not going to see packaging like this. But for us, it's handy because obviously it just keeps the card in one place. Phone packaging inside. We've got the card in an anti-stack bag inside a bubble wrap bag. Uh, before I go on to that though, we get a special edition collectible sticker. So your new GeForce GTX graphics card comes with a special piece of hardware, a finely crafted exclusive badge sticker. It contains metal, don't affix to your PC's internals, your sibling's hair, or your pet. Stick once, stick wisely. Uh, yeah quite actually happy that Nvidia is sort of seeing the lighter side of something like this. Ultimately it is a case badge sticker but I just love the um, don't affix it to your PC's internals, your sibling's hair or your pet. I think that's just yeah adds a little bit of comedy value to it. Other than that inside the box we have absolutely diddly squat. There's nothing in there barring some sort of cardboard packaging and so forth. So I'm just going to move that to one side and uh, then we can actually have a look at the card. So 780 as it clearly says on there just in case there's any confusion comes in a bubble wrap bag for us just to give it some protection and then an anti-static bag here as well now taking it out of the anti-static bag you can see it looks like titan so exactly exactly the same cooler as titan um looking at sort of the difference between that and titan in terms of size they look exactly the same. I don't actually think there's even a millimeter difference between the two. It's Titan 780, same sort of PCB, um, just obviously a different layout. And that sort of brings me to my next step. There has been a lot of talk and a lot of rumors from lots of people out on the internet that you can turn a 780 into a Titan. So I'm gonna dispel that myth and tell you, no, you can't. Um, really, there's some fundamental differences in the fact that if I turn this over and you look at the back, on uh, on Titan, it's got double the amount of memory. So as you can see, we're missing some memory here. There's some on the other side, obviously, but uh, on Titan, there's some here as well. And also, uh, I believe there's actually a change in uh, resistors. So um, yeah, can't happen, won't happen, will never happen unless you've got a fabrication uh, factory and uh, the ability to do soldering and, and so forth. Either way, this is a 780, Titan is a Titan, it's not actually going to happen in the slightest. So other than that, it does look very similar to Titan. So uh, you can see the sort of dark PCB, the cooler I am a massive fan of. I, uh, I loved it ever since I saw it on Titan. So you've got this sort of Perspex uh, material on here, nice sort of uh, metal style um, shrouding, and you can actually see the heatsink sort of underneath. We've got some nice little metal sort of um, Allen keyed bolts on there as well, and uh, the nice sort of uh, shiny fan as well which obviously ducks air in and shoots it straight across the card and exhausts it out the back really really nice design now there's no sort of true official word at the time of me recording this as to whether the partner 780s are going to look like this or whether they're going to be able to do their own thing now i'm guessing they're going to be able to do their own thing whereas with titan it was very much restricted there are brands bringing out Titan, but it comes with this cooler and then it comes with a separate cooler and it's up to the user to bolt it on. But this, we can't see it being like Titan and 690. I, I can honestly see that, yeah, we're going to see the likes of uh, you know, Game Ward, uh, EVGA, Gigabyte. They're all going to bring out their own versions with like a Windforce cooler and uh, you know, a, a Zeus with a DirectCU2. So 
if you don't like the design of this, there is going to be other options. But personally, I think this is an amazing design and the performance of the fan and the cooling solution is actually pretty good, um, especially when you compare it against sort of AMD reference solutions that we've seen in the past. Uh, GTA, uh, sorry, 6990, need I say more? It's, you know, a, a stupidly noisy thing, but obviously they improved that with 7990, but that's neither here nor there. So really, really sort of happy with that. Now, specs-wise, obviously everyone cares about specifications. This is another reason why it can't be Titan, because CUDA core-wise, this has 2,304 CUDA cores. Titan has about 300 more uh, compared to that. Now, Titan has a slightly lower base clock, but this doesn't mean that you know the 780 is faster than Titan. It doesn't mean the Titan is slower or faster or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's about a 20 megahertz difference. So the base clock on the GTX 780 is 863 megahertz. It has a boost clock of 900 megahertz because obviously this has uh, the latest NVIDIA GPU Boost 2.0 technology, which slightly differs from uh, the original Boost technology, where um, you know one went by temperatures, one went by you know uh, performance and so forth. Uh, we also have three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory on the GTX 780, whereas on Titan, six gig. Hence why it can't happen, and I'm going to stress that all the way through this video. Memory speed, we have a memory speed of 1502 megahertz on here, so six gigabit per second effective. Now, sort of taking a look around the card so I can obviously mention into things like the power delivery, TDP, uh, the outputs and so forth. You can see that we've got a PCI Express connector, nothing sort of new there, that's exactly what we expect. Moving sort of around the card, you can see here's where the uh, heatsink sort of fan design is. So you can see that this runs all the way sort of through the card to the back of the card. Now. Power connector wise, if I just stack this card up here, you can see that we've got a single eight pin and a six pin. But there's something I really, really want to sort of point out here, and this is, was exactly the same with Titan. If you look at the back of the PCB, you can see that we've got the eight solder points there for the PCI Express uh, eight pin, and then the six there. But there's also space for another eight pin, which tells us that obviously if um, some of NVIDIA's partners want to design their own card and use this PCB, they're going to be able to do so. And obviously, if they need extra power, they've got the space here to do so in terms of if they uh, fit, you know, a much larger cooler, which just, you know, needs more power. There's the flexibility for it. Once again, on the top, we've got the GeForce GTX logo in green, which is obviously then going to light up um, just like Titan did and just like the 690 did. Now, um, in terms of power, going back to that quickly, obviously with the 8-pin and the 6-pin, that does mean that we've got a TDP of 250 watts. So it's not massive amounts of power. We have seen cards with uh, obviously a lot higher TDPs, um, you know, GTX 680 Lightning from MSI, because it has all them extra features in terms of the cooler. It has got, you know, two 8-pins. This has got a single 8-pin, single 6-pin, job done. Now, SLI, if you have got more money than the cents, you are looking at, uh, we've got two here, so you can do quad SLI um, using these SLI bridge connectors over here. Uh, obviously your motherboard should come with uh, the relevant SLI bridges, um, it, you know, if it does support quad SLI. So that means you're gonna get some of the best performance out on the market. You're not gonna have any money left, but you're gonna have some amazing performance because this is the kicker. We've got the UK pricing on this card. I don't know about the US pricing as sort of guaranteed and everything, but the UK pricing is £549. Ouch! It is expensive, but based on the performance that we've seen so far, it is a stunker of a card. Um, and this card will be going into a full review where we will have full benchmarks, um, overclocking and uh, so forth. I'm just really here to give you more of the sort of aesthetic side of it and the design point of view. But yeah, £549 for this bad boy. Very, very expensive, cheaper than Titan, hence why it can't be Titan, because why would they be selling a cut down Titan that you could potentially turn into Titan and losing money? That doesn't make good business sense. So yeah, that's another reason behind that. Now, output wise, you can see that we've got the general sort of NVIDIA basic setup that we're used to. So it takes up two slots in your case. We've got lots of exhaust uh, vents here as well, a few here. We've got DVI and DVI, so we've got a uh, single link and dual link. And we've also got HDMI and a full-size display port. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So there's not really much I can sort of say about the 780 because most of it, especially with any graphics card, comes down to performance. That's what we all care about. Obviously, it's great looking at sort of, you know, new hardware like this and sort of seeing the design. But ultimately, it comes down to the performance, how it's going to perform and how it's gonna perform in comparison to other cards. So yes, we have got Titan. Yes, we have benchmarked this against Titan. 
and we've benchmarked it against sort of all the other cards that are in um, the same sort of range as what this card is, so the higher end of the scale. So, all I'd really say is if you did enjoy this video, like it, subscribe it, and tell all your friends about it. And if you do want to see the performance figures on this, check down in the description below where we have got a link to the full review done by our very own Chris Hadley. And uh, that will basically display you all of the different games and benchmarks that we've sort of you know put this through its paces. That includes Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider, Hitman Absolution, uh, 3D Mark, a whole host of games and benchmarks related to gaming. And that's where you'll really see a card like this um, sort of and how it can really perform. So, thank you very much boys and girls. Um, like I say, if you like this video, please like it, please share it and comment below and let us know what you think. There are some other cards coming out from NVIDIA in the future. Um, can't really mention what they're, what they're called, but you can expect them to have uh, the same sort of cooler as this. <clears throat> there has been rumours going around showing pictures and things like that. I'm not going to say where you can find these rumours because obviously I'm bound by an NDA on those particular cards. But you will see um, you know, a similar cooler on there as well. But also the AICs and the partners will have their own versions as well. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com. See you later.